Hi, it's Alexander from Galileo Sky again, and this is the last video in the CanPro course. Today I'll show you how to send messages to the CAN bus. You'll see how we'll affect the tachometer arrow and make it fluctuate by the command. Be careful, you can mistakenly mix up engine speed data with air consumption data or throttle position. In other words, if you find data incorrectly, then the command will not work properly. We are in Nissan Note again. To make sure that 181st ID contains the required RPM parameter, let's send the command to the CAN bus and have a look at the result. Go to the configurator. Open the CAN scanner tab. We have already selected the desired bus speed, filter type, and CAN data is receiving. Pay attention to the 181st ID. The first two bytes are engine speed. Now the engine is running and the parameter fluctuates slightly. Keep in mind that inaccurate commands messages in the CAN bus can damage the control unit or provoke malfunctions in the onboard electronics. Be careful. Therefore, you're responsible for any risks associated with sending messages to the CAN bus. Galileo Sky asks you to make sure that your actions are correct and put a tick in front of the agreement to continue working. Next, press this button to copy messages and send the command. After that, we see that the message appeared at the bottom of the screen. Now let's turn off the engine so as not to disrupt the electronics, but switch the ignition on. After that, we see that the message appeared at the bottom of the screen. 10 milliseconds is the interval between messages in the 181st ID. So we set the same interval to coincide with the CAN bus parameters. We see that the tachometer needle fluctuates slightly. Send the command, writing our values in the first byte. Now the arrow amplitude is bigger. Let's increase the value even more. So that we made sure that we found the RPM parameter. Now we turn off messages receiving. We see that the tachometer needle is stable now. Sending messages and the tachometer needle reaction is the simplest example to show how it works. You can configure the control of all electronics units in the car. You can uh, lock or unlock doors, start the engine, activate horn, switch headlights on and off, something like this. But in this case, you'll need third-party equipment. With its help, you can find out the commands, and Galileo Sky units will become triggers for sending these commands. So, in this video, you saw how to send messages to the CAN bus. We found out what for this function can be used to, and also learned how to check the found parameters by sending messages. That's it. This is the last video in the CAN Pro course. Now you know what CAN bus is, what protocols are used and how to find data if the protocol is unknown. You are only one step away from the CAN Pro level. Now you have to decrypt the log. This is the last challenge. Galileo Sky support specialist will send it to you. Just let us know. Alexander from Galileo Sky was with you. Good luck. Goodbye.